all right so what's going on my is welcome back here to another special video on archives so today uh we got kind of an announcement for the next live stream and probably the next event we're going to be getting after contingency contract finally starting to get back and move for the new banners and stuff you know all kind of stuff so yeah uh the next event we should expect in two weeks i'd say because we get the live stream on the 19th of you know february and usually I like stuff drop one week after the live stream. So yeah, it's 20 basically convert out in what time it is for you. I mean it's gonna be like 4 a.m. So I don't think I can just go and watch the live stream. I'll just have to look it over. No, I'll just have to look over what the information on the next morning. So yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna be having new stuff, new events, which I suspect is going to be the integrated strategies event. It's most likely gonna be that, 99% sure, because that's literally the only the next thing that we're gonna get in the plan. I don't think they just do live stream for, you know, other stuff. But like, it's probably integrated strategies, yeah, and that's what's gonna, like, release. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm not gonna be going too in depth on what you do. Guy, this is gonna be, this is a video mostly about announcing it. Uh, basically, one integrated strategies is that it's a new type of event. I'd say where, uh, differently from CC, a consistency contract where you have to use your strongest operators and the operators are most suitable for that stage. But here, you gotta use all your operators. You gotta put all your operators to work, which is a good thing, I'd say. Uh, usually, it works kind of like starting up in a period. If you lose, you go back to the beginning. It's kind of like that. So, the more stages you uh, defeat, the more you progress. Uh, I really like the event because it actually puts us or makes us use operators that aren't that useful when you're going to late game, like three stars, like two stars. You're gonna be using the robots, even robots. But basically, uh, what you start with is three stars, which are completely free to get. And other operators with higher rarities, you have to pay for these recruitment tickets and what's it called this currency called hope. You get hope by beating stages. That's it. Then, when you get them, they will have a level limit, which is E1 maximum level, yes. And if you try and promote them again, they will get that restriction removed, where they will actually be able to, like, you can use them at the level they actually are. So if you try to use 6 stars with their E2 skill, then it's like, eh, not with their E1 skill. Usually some 6 stars E1 skill is a little weaker than their E2, as 6 stars are really good for that. Basically, Blaze, her E1, or her second skill, is actually more useful in the long run than their third skill. So yeah, Blaze would be really good for this. But something like that. So, uh, we'll also get new kind of operators that are just exclusive for this event. And you get them from emergency recruitment tickets. Uh, they're not the same recruitment tickets that you use for like recruiting. They're, you just use them to like uh, get the operators for the event. And these guys, the five star versions are really, really good. And you'll, we, they won't have restrictions when we get them. So don't have to worry about the level of stuff. But the three star versions are pretty ass, I'd say. Yeah. Don't get three star versions. Uh, better just use your own three stars. I've been telling people to actually max out their three stars, two stars, and one stars because of this event. Yes, that's why you get the SEC over here, zero hope. You can you get them and use them whenever you want. So, yeah. And three stars aren't that bad. Like, you can use them. I'm talking about these are the emergency recruitment guys. Oh wait, go down here. Yeah, emergency recruitment operators, the three star version are not good. Five star version are really good. So yeah. Then you get currency and stuff. Uh, honey cakes and big mushroom, big mushroom upgrading stuff, honey cakes is like exclusive stuff. That's all, that's just a summary of the event. I've already made a video about a tier list of the operators you can like really good for this event. I don't know, we haven't gotten much since that tier list. Probably only Thor's W and Phantom. If I made that before Phantom, I'm not sure right now. Oh yes, I made it before Phantom. Yes. Uh, so yeah, but what we're else getting with this event, or what this event is, uh, the celebration this event is part of, is Gabriel the Great Chief Returns. Now, what we're getting Gabriel uh, Chief Returns are Nicktees, Tomimi, and Flint. Okay, Nicktees, Flint, Acid, uh, Flint over here. Acid drop, and I haven't opened up to Mimi because I forgot. I'm not gonna be going too deep into these operators until next week 
we get a full confirmation that we're getting this event. It's Tomini over here. She's the free one. If you want a thick thighs crocodile girl, she's free. Don't have to worry about anything. So yeah, she. Yeah, you don't have to worry about stuff. She's a single target, but uh, gets this reduction of stuff, you know. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about them. Just a brief review. I think this is a good defender, but we get a way better defender later on. And if you want to stun for in the case of life for purposes, go ahead. But I'm just warning you, we're getting Surrey next. Surrey is next on the release schedule. Then we're getting Blemishine, which is one of the best healing defenders if you haven't heard of her. But I would suspect you've heard of Surrey, because Surrey is a really good guard, probably top 3 best guard. Well, not top 3 guard, top 3 operators in the game. But, like, probably one of the best operators in the game. She is one of the best. So, yeah. Uh, then we got Flynn over here. I don't see anything special about him, honestly. He's a cool guard, and I like his type of, like, reduced block count to zero. His attack stat is a low over at E2 level 40, which is the decent level. I'm gonna look at it over here. But still, E2 level 40 with an attack stat lower than 500 is for a guard with short range. As a little underwhelming, I'd say. And he doesn't get that much of a buff on his skills. Uh, let's go over here for 40%. You might make the cost, well, you might consider that he's good when he's fighting operator or enemies when he's not, that he's not blocking. So you just put him in the side over there and he just does more damage. Which, yes, you can make the case that, that will make it a little better. But still, their operators are way better and don't have this many restrictions as this guy does. So, yeah. As a drop, as a drop is decent, I'd say. That's all. She's basically the 4 star version of Shores and Province. But it's like you don't really need to build her since we already, like, we've had Province for a long time. I suspect many people to have Province. Unless it just started recently. She's a, she's a nice uh, 4 star. I have to look more into her. To make an actual opinion, give an actual opinion, every attack will deal damage equal to 25% of the attack, increased 40% of the attack of enemies in two tiles of so. Yeah. Uh, she's not that. She's okay for a 4 star, but she's not like, wow, really good. Her attack size is high though, which is good. For 661, E2 level 40, that's good. I say that's pretty good. So, and then Tomini. Tomini, I haven't checked much in two, but. Her skills are decent, she's a single target, caster from what I, uh, she's decent from what I've heard of, 40, decent attack stat for an AoE caster, 551 was that, right? Yeah, that's 551, yeah. Then we get, uh, her skills, skill 1, just more damage, not really that important, every attack has 70% chance to activate one of the following effects, stun, uh, current, just stun. Oh, 75 percent chance to stun. Just say that, bro. Why do you have to go all that? 919 percent damage, splash damage. She's okay. She's okay for a free operator. She's good, but if you just want to use her viably and stuff, she's okay. Because we don't really have that many good six single targets casters, except for six stars ones, which are KOB and AFL, which are literally really good. But like, the very free ones, Amiya, which gets better, gets really good after chapter 8, or during chapter 8. Uh, we got, what's the free one that came during, I forgot her name. I forgot her name actually, let me just go. Lean Heart is good, Lazy is good, I guess. No, Absinthe, yeah, Absinthe is the other free to play 5 star uh, single star caster. So, yeah. But still, still, still she's good. She's, you have that RNG part of here, which is okay, I'd say. I don't really like RNG and stuff because it's not good for auto runs. Because one thing can go wrong and your whole auto run is gone. That's basically it. So, these operators are usually good for to be in the stages. And you're probably not gonna go and grind all the time. Yeah, that's it. The E2R is good. Good. That's all. So yeah, uh, what else? We're getting skins. Uh, Silver Ash skin, KOB skin, and who else was it? Croissant skin, yes. I'm gonna go 
right down the over the skin. So I said three units we're getting. If we include okay, silver iron skin, KO base skin. Okay, it's probably my favorite one. I don't really care about Grisan, never really cared about her. So yeah, um, probably not gonna buy the silver ash one because I don't like. Uh, it's not like I don't like his skin. It's just that I want to save more skins for wife and stuff. So yeah. Uh, skins that are returning: Ifrit, Sora, and Vigna. This is hype, kind of, for Vigna because she doesn't. Her E2 art is okay, but her skin is really, really good. So yeah. New furniture set, as I said, Kyobi's Fungimus, that's all. Oh, and a new Tage skin, though, let's not forget about that. It's free, this one is free from the event. So, yeah, that's all. These were supposed to be together, but since we got a bit of a distance from between both of the events, they're not together. So, yeah. What do I miss? Just tell me. So, about the event, which I might talk to in another video after we get this confirmed. So yeah, great returns, new enemies, this new setup thing which you need to cut down to put it over sniper operators up here. So yeah, that's all. That's all I had to say. Uh, it's looking good. I'm glad uh, we're getting a, that one week break that we usually get. Which is really good because uh, stuff we, uh, drop one week after the live stream. I thought it was just some days, it's one week after the live stream. So, yeah, that's good. We're getting a one week break after consistency contract. Still have to do a lot of the daily stages. New risk drop today for week two. And I should definitely get into those. Uh, probably will make a risk 20 or something. I could not get risk 20 with uh, during week one. Got a lazy on trying those. And I kind of gave up on it. So, but risk 18 was fine for me. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Um, I hope I didn't keep you guys long here. Just. Give a brief review of what are we getting, just short version of stuff. Once they get confirmed, I'll go into more in depth stages that you should farm probably. Uh, should you sell for these units? And all that kind of stuff. And create strategies. I already have a tier list video for the best operators for this, which I'll probably have in the link description for. Definitely go check that out. I hope it's not outdated, but I doubt it is. It's not some new operators, but those operators are on that list lists are actually really good see ya i'm gonna close off here thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace